Hey guys, so in today's tutorial we will learn how to animate basically anything, whether it be a logo, an image or a text node across your frame at a specific path, just like this Resolve logo is doing here all over the frame. And that is all done in the Fusion page by just one single node, it's called the Polygon node. So guys, in order to save you some time, let's open up DaVinci Resolve and jump right into the Fusion page. Let's go. So guys, once we're in Fusion, all we should see is our Media In node, which basically is our footage, and our Media Out One node, which is the node that brings everything back to the Edit page or the Color page. So with that being said, let's animate my logo across this frame. So the first thing that we obviously need to do is add in a logo. So let's go to Media Pool, grab your logo, and then grab the output of this logo and drag it to the output of Media in One to create Merge One. And now you should see the logo on your frame. So the next thing that we want to add is a path, and we do this by grabbing this Polygon node. But keep in mind, don't connect it to any other node. This is just a Polygon node. Um, just for the path purposes. So let's go a little bit crazy and make this move like just right there. Just like that and then maybe down and then back to that again. So once we've done that, hold control, left click and drag over all the points. So every point becomes yellow. And then what we want to do is smooth out the animation by hitting this curves button. So this should give us something similar to this, which is perfect for our needs. And then with this Polygon 1 tool selected, go to the inspector in the top right corner and there you see right click here for shape animations at the bottom. Now right click on this, go to remove Polygon 1 polyline because we don't need that. And then what we want to do is right click there again and go to publish. Now once we've done that, go back to media in 2. And on this Media In2 node, we have to connect the center part to this Polygon 1 tool. But once we check Media In2 in the inspector, we see that we don't have a center. So keep that in mind whenever you're using this technique with an image or a logo, you will not have a center X and Y. So in order to fix that, let's grab this transform node and put it right in between. Now on this transform node, we do have a center X and Y. So what you want to do now is go to center X and Y, right click there, go to animate. Now this should turn the keyframe here on and also makes us accessible to the modifiers tab. And that is where we want to click. So let's click on modifiers and there down at the bottom you see right click here for shape animations and we want to right click there and then go to connect to polygon one polyline and then value. Now once you've done this you see that it is a little messed up because our polygon is way too small now. So in order to fix that go to this transform node, go to modifiers and then there you see path one, double click on there and then increase the size. Let's scroll out just a bit. So right now this should do the job and then make sure to go back to the first frame. Go to displacement and actually we already keyframed this. Now let's get rid of this keyframe. Go to the first frame. Activate the keyframe on displacement and then move forward to maybe 100 frames and increase the displacement part to 1. Now, once we've done that, we can play this and this animates our logo across our frame. So all we want to do now is because this is a pretty linear movement and not pleasing to watch at all, go to the spline tab and then there you see with the transform node selected the displacement part, click on that, zoom to fit, highlight both of those keyframes, right click, go to ease and then choose in cubic. Now what this does is it's very slow at the beginning, but then speeds up over time. So let's play this back, make this fit, just right there. And as you see, we can really go crazy with this. So let's close the spline window, delete everything, also delete this polygon node, and let's do the same thing with a text node. 
right? Let's grab in a text node, connect this one to the merge one, and then type in your text, whatever. And then what we want to do is grab a polygon node, put it there, zoom out quite a bit. And then what we want to do is maybe animate this like that. Perfect. Now all we want to do is highlight those dots again and then smooth out the animation just like that. That is looking pretty good. Now then you see right click here for shape animation in the inspector part. Now do that. Go to remove polygon one polyline and then right click there again. Go to publish and now let's go back to our text one node. Go to layout. Go to center X and Y, right click there, go to animate. This makes the modifiers tab accessible. Let's click on there. And then there you see, right click here for shape animation at the bottom. Go to connect to polygon one polyline and then value. Now this looks pretty good. So let's go back to path one. Now guys, when you're not on frame one, when you're doing this, make sure to check the displacement keyframe because it will automatically add a keyframe at the specific frame that you are on. Now make sure to get rid of this, go back to the first frame, keyframe this again, and then go forward maybe 120 frames, and then let's increase the displacement part. Perfect, now let's play this back, make this fit here. Then as you see, our text is moving across our frame. Pretty good. So let's make this animation smooth once again. And then highlight this, right click, go to ease in cubic. And now it should start off very slow, but then speed up over time. Perfect. All right, guys, so that is basically it. That is all you need to know when you want to animate something across your screen. So guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to help this video spread out to more people that are interested in that specific topic. So with that being said, hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.